Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Brooke Rowell. All right, it's another scorcher here in Waco. We're supposed to get up to about 104 today, but I'm getting a little stir crazy being locked in the house. So I'm gonna do go out and do something today that I think will be a little kind of interesting. About 100 miles from here is a small town called Regency, Texas. And about 100 years ago, they built a bridge over the uh, Colorado River a uh, big suspension bridge. It's been through a couple of tragedies, but it's back and it's been reinst reinstalled and uh, we're gonna go out and check this out. It looks like it's gonna be pretty fun. Let's go. I love funky little downtowns. This is Goldthwaite, Texas. Yes, from here on it's dirt roads. Yeah, we're way out in the middle of nowhere. They say at one point the bridge was restored and the President of the United States, George W. Bush, came out here for its rededication ceremony. Can you imagine the President's limo going down this road? Yeah, this is it. This was built originally in 1903 and at one point there was a herd of cattle that was going over this and the bridge collapsed under their weight and the bridge was completely destroyed. It was rebuilt again in, uh, in 1939 and basically it remained a single lane wood plank bridge that went over the Colorado River. Pretty rickety to it, doesn't it? Now apparently when uh, it's windy, this thing sways back and forth, so it's quite a, uh, a feat to be out here. I've also heard people say that when the wind blows, you can uh, hear them whistling through the cables that are suspending this thing. Fortunately, there's no vehicles going over it today, and it's not very windy. There's a little bit of breeze, you probably can hear that, but... This is amazing. Now the bridge was restored uh, about 25 years ago. Uh, but you know, this is still, like there's not really a whole lot of uh, protection to keep you from going over the edge, is there? Apparently this is like a uh, popular place in the town for uh, like prom photos and wedding photos and stuff like that. People get out here on the bridge and uh, shoot their memories here. It's a long ways down. Wow. Considering there's just two pieces of cable here. I mean, I'm not I'm not one that's terribly afraid of heights, but you know, I, I have a respect for heights and I don't want to get too close to the edge on this. But that is the Colorado River down there. the other side. Yeah, see, this is just like the Waco suspension bridge. Uh, these cables have to be anchored to the ground because it's the cables that are holding the bridge up. And uh, without the cables being anchored to the ground here like this, the spans in the middle collapse and the whole thing ends up in the river. Wow, this thing looks, look at the patchwork that they've done on some of these cables. Yeah, I don't know if I'd wanna drive over that. I, I debated whether I was gonna bring the car over here and the sign says it can hold up to what, eight tons or something like that. But yeah, no way am I uh, 
put my car on that. Okay, 5,000 pounds, that's two and a half tons. Okay, a little historical mark here, marker. Regency Suspension Bridge, after a series of tragic floods washed out earlier Colorado River crossings here, San Saba and Mills County jointly build a bridge named for the Mills County community of Regency. The Austin Bridge Company of Dallas completed the construction in October 1939. The road decks hang suspended from two steel cables, each measuring three and a quarter inches in diameter and consisting of 475 strands of galvanized wire restored by the Texas Department of Transportation in 1999. This is one of the last suspension bridges open to vehicular traffic in Texas. Now I mentioned on the way in when they rededicated this thing uh, that President George Bush uh, came to uh, came to the uh, rededication. He wasn't actually the president then. He was Governor George W. Bush at that point. This was like 1997. We were still in the middle of the Clinton administration then. But I'm just going to take another walk over and we'll enjoy the beauty and then I'll get back in the air conditioning and go back home. The mighty Colorado River. God, I can hear the planks creaking underneath me as I walk. Actually, it looks like we're going to get a car to come over it, so let's uh, see if he survives here. Yeah, he's braver than me. Looks like he made it. So I've decided that, that since that pickup truck survived the trip uh, and that vehicle weighs a lot more than I do, um, I'm going to take a shot at it going over the bridge with the car too. Uh, turned out another vehicle went right after uh, the first one went, so yeah, there we go. I'm driving over a, a nearly a hundred year old suspension bridge with wood uh, planks on them. Now we'll get off here do a u-turn here and we'll turn around and come back because now that I'm on the other side I got to cut back get back again right once more So I think that's all that I have for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks a lot. Thanks as always for watching and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.